Average Dude has something to say about... Welcome back, everybody. This is, uh, it's been a while since I've done a response video. I'm still unsure about them, but let's go ahead and do this response video number four here. Uh, it's from an individual uh, whose videos I've watched for a while now. He's called Pastor Dow. Uh, he has this, uh, faith, I guess it's called Straightway. I'm confused. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people are. I'm not exactly sure where it fits in the whole canon because there's so many denominations of believing in God, Christianity, and whatnot. But anyhow, he did a video called Freedom of Religion, and it looks like he's just starting to do, he's uh, accepting response videos. Not for this one. I don't want to talk about the National Defense Authorization Act right now. I need a break from politics. I do it all. I talk about politics a lot. And uh, I thought this was a more interesting one to do. He might accept it, he might not. That's in his hands. Um, but whatever. I've been looking to give a response video on one of his for quite a while now. Okay, it, the link is down below. And one minute into the video, quote, Everybody has freedom of religion until they start doing the truth. Don't read too much into it. We'll get a little further. Uh, one minute, 20 seconds into the video, he's referring to naysayers. Um, quote, when they feel condemned, the first thing they do is attack the people who make changes. Uh, okay, as I said before, do not read too much into this. He's talking about someone who's starting out faith. Someone who is probably living a secular life and uh, try and just, you know, train wreck of a situation, things are going bad, wants to improve, and a uh, little faith works wonders. And he's mentioning how people who are starting out with faith, they get criticized. And he's getting criticized because he's helping uh, the, these people get on track. And you know, that's fine. Improving your lives is great. Being part of the solution when it comes to all the crap that's gone wrong with humanity, that's great. Here's my problem with this. When it comes to religion, it tends to, like everything else, we focus on differences and it becomes a I'm right and you're wrong situation. Okay, faith cannot be proven. Oh, it's a, it can be proven you're wrong, young man. It's in a book. Every book was written by a human being, no matter when, no matter how long ago, and human beings tend to embellish, fib, or just outright lie. It, they do it all the time. They have their own hidden motivations. Uh, the Bible's no different. The Tanakh's no different. I'm, none of them are different. This is what happens. And I have a really difficult time with, uh, on a personal level, just flat out accept, because everybody wants to say that they know the truth. Uh, Okay, Patton, of course, if you're different, you get criticized. Pastor Dow is criticized very heavily online. Um, do a search. I'm not going to post these links because I don't really buy into them. Uh, people call them, it's a cult, uh, this straight way it's a cult, and it's all about making money. And yet I look at these pages and they look like infomercial website pages where the fonts are colored and big and, ooh, you know, it's highlighted and blinking and bold. It's a cult. And there's absolutely no substance to it. I'm sorry. If I'm supposed to believe that Straightway is a cult, you're going to have to do better than just simply saying it's a cult. Back that thing up. And I wish I could say that Pastor Dow's different, but he criticizes too. I've heard him more often in his videos where, you know, it's straightway truth, uh, this is the truth, and uh, those that don't agree, uh, possessed by demons or evil spirits or under the influence of demons and, and spirit. You know what? I've heard that more often than I care to, and it's really convenient, isn't it, to say that, those who don't see it your particular way are under the influence of demons. I think that's crap. Back that thing. And you, that's the whole point of faith. You can't. You cannot prove things that are based on faith. All right? And, you sh and really, why bother with it? That's the whole point of faith. Believing something higher than yourself and you don't need proof. That's a powerful thing. Um, but we have to prove that we're right and everyone else is wrong. And I get so sick of that. Dreck, it's not even funny. Um, it, 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 it basically lowers religion to the, what I refer to as the brainy smurf 
mentality. You remember Brainy Smurf? Yeah, I'm showing when I grew up in the 80s, that cartoon, the Smurfs. That one Smurf who was just a condescending prick to all the other Smurfs. And you would see at the end of the episode, because he was just a, he was a dick. So they would punt him, and you'd see him flying through the air and boom, land on his butt. Because he'd constantly go around saying, I was right, I was right, hey, nobody likes that. Hey, I'm right, you're wrong, congratulations, here's a cookie. I don't care about that. I mean, the difference between a religion and a cult, oh, where do I begin with that one? I mean, over half the world believes in one God, supposedly, but you wouldn't know it with all the differences. Judaism. And then you have denominations. You have uh, Hasidic Jews. You have Orthodox, Ultra-Orthodox, Reformed. So you have denominations, so th they had to be different from each other. And then people add another book, in other words, the New Testament, onto the Old Testament, and now all of a sudden you have Christianity. And it didn't stop there. You have a look at all of the denominations of Christianity bickering over who's right on these insignificant details. And then, okay, Catholics, they take it another direction. The Mormons add yet another book. And Christians call them a cult, which is kind of funny considering that Christianity added another book to the Old Testament and hey, whatever. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right, you're wrong. I don't really care for that. Hey, if we focused on what we had in common, hey, oh, but we can't do that. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That would actually help. Uh, solve situations and improve humanity's relationships with each other, but we can't do that. We can't focus on what we have in common. Uh, skin color, eye color, height, weight, uh, religion, sex, ethnic, I mean anything. White, black, it, it, we're constantly finding something to have a complaint with another group. We, we divide each other like idiots. And religion is no different. And I just, I don't care for that. And you know what? Intellectualism has the same problem. Have you noticed that? Where the I'm right and you're wrong? Now, they're a little more creative. The intellectuals, tend, you know, the, the, the college professor types, they tend to condescend to you in a different way. They act like you're children and they're trying to have patience with you, but they're not. They're being condescending dicks. Oh, you just see, you just don't understand. See, that what you read and what you were told was all contemporary propaganda. I'm fine with considering that things that were written and I have been told in the past wasn't all that accurate. That is why it is important to have your own personal thoughts. But what do I get told by these lovely intellectuals? See, you need to read this book. That was released not even a year ago. Talk about contemporary propaganda. It's just impossible to take it seriously. I mean, back that thing up. Intellectualism has gone really, really off the deep end with, uh, okay, apparently we're supposed to breastfeed our, our kids until the day they die, and we're never supposed to say no to them. No boundaries, nothing, no punishment. And it's just a recipe for disaster. And all because they think that being too harsh is bad, therefore nothing, and you must nurture until the very end. I... That's fine if you want to be critical with the way things were before, but you're dealing with thousands of years of human experience with a proven track record, and these so-called idiotic studies, they're on a short amount of time. I'm sorry, your scientific process, I have to question. When you're making deductions, what you're looking for, what you want to be true, off of something that has only a small amount of time. You need to look at it over a very large span of many years and look at what the track record is. Intellectualism has not been doing that. I, it's just, it's a human thing. Humans nitpick, I'm right, you're wrong. Ugh. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Take care.